Hello, hello, Biohack here. Time for another live arena video. I'm still a little sick, so that's why my voice sounds funny. But before we jump into that, I have made some cool progression on the account. That's right, we got the five star blessing for Kaja the Rai. Very happy about this. Got the 75 resistance, 75 accuracy, 30% HP destruction. Of course, we really want the six star for the extra speed, right? Because she's our fastest champion. But still, very, very nice to get that. The accuracy is actually kind of nice because I like to use Evil Eye to push the turn meter back after people revive when she gets the um, turn meter boost from the Life Harvest Blessing. Resistance is also nice because we're getting in the range where we can start to resist Tormens who are not built for uh, accuracy. The like the non-support Tormens, the DPS Tormens, oftentimes only have like 250, 300 accuracy. So I'm going to try and get my resistance a little bit higher um which should help with that but we'll see how that goes other things we've got some new gear pieces so i've got a couple that i'm really happy with in merciless we've got this really nice merciless boot which is this guy yeah not the perfect stats because i kind of would have preferred to get more crit rate than attack percent but still i mean all the stats went into nice things attack percent and crit rate with speed so that's beautiful Caught some other interesting pieces. Um, this weapon was pretty good. Triple roll into crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, mythical. So we got the double roll attack percent. Obviously, it would be way better if this was speed, but still, nice piece, nice piece. Been working on a few, uh, a bunch of this other stuff. Um, I think I rolled this piece up, which is actually, is that one I rolled up today? I can't remember. It's pretty decent. This one's, oh, actually, that one's, no, this one is new, I think, or level up today. I can't remember. Anyway, a few other ones. Main thing that I got that I was excited about, though, was this guy. We got a quint roll. Now, it's only a five star, but it is a quint roll in speed. A quint roll helmet or a quint roll in speed could max out at potentially 25 at five star. And then we could book it to 30 or lift it to 30 rather, which is still honestly really solid, like a 30 speed helmet. Sure, if it was a quad roll helmet, it could go at least uh, i think 25 is the minimum you could get and then you could also lift it for another eight so you'd go to 33 but still could be good and it doesn't require a mythical chaos or so let's see what we can get here oh <coughs> oh shoot i just clicked the button right away so we got crit damage and hp and speed mm. do i keep this i might keep this i don't know it's fine we'll keep it. definitely wanted speed though <laughs> i didn't mean to skip that animation but there we are all right, anything else I wanted to do? I have another I have another Chaos Ore, and I do want to reroll, I think, a quad stone skin helmet for my potential to get squad speed for the Warlord, which would be amazing. But I'm currently using it on my Thane for clan boss, so I need to wait till the free rework, gear rework happens, and then I'll probably reroll that piece as well, see if we can get speed on that, because I really need my Warlord to be faster. But all right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump into the fights. Had some good runs yesterday. We got up to 53.47, so that's not too bad. We'll see what we can do today. We got Raven. Uh, so this guy likes to run Taurus, Roto, CDK, Marichka, Sifi. So we're definitely going to want to bring Rhonda. I've been thinking about trying to rebuild my... Um, my... Let's take Arbiter. I've been thinking about trying to rebuild my... Romansu as a nuker. I've been looking at nuke Romansu and... He has crazy good damage, actually, on his, especially on his A2 ability. It hits really hard. Um, I think it's like an eight point something multiplier, and the first hit puts decreased defense. Obviously, he's a little weak to polymorph, but particularly for taking down things like Harima, I think it could be really strong. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We probably don't want to run George in could run Staltus. I think Staltus is probably our best bet. What's up, Citizen Z? 
will ban the Tarth. Yeah, I was going to say, he's probably going to ban the Rhonda. That's fine. Is that a Polymorph Blessing on the Rhodos? That's interesting. Oof, we got resisted and we did not stun him. Or, and we didn't kill him. Proc reaction. That's really unfortunate. Wow, that's really bad luck too with the Rhonda. Or with the Rhodos being the one that gets pulled in. Ran to a nuke Romantu was gross, very unexpected. Yeah, nuke Romantu is. Um, he hits surprisingly hard if you look at his numbers. So we'll go ahead and revive the Arbiter. I think we can kill the Rhodos if we get this. Um... Oh, no, he just healed it a bit. Damn it. Ah, this could be trouble. Dude, look at how close it is. And we got Polymorph. It's brutal. Oh, I probably should have um, Terminator boosted and blocked debuffs there. Oops. I think we're pretty much dead. The Polymorph kind of screwed us. Yeah, the Roto so Well, should we let him finish? Yeah, it was very unfortunate. A lot of bad RNG happened there. The lack of a... Well, the I guess the stun didn't really matter. But the fact that the um, Kaja... Or the Mar uh, Marichka dragged the Rotos in when she won the Arbiter was brutal. And then the fact that the we procced so much reaction sucked. And then the Polymorph on the Stultus also sucked. I love how... We didn't, we, like, the Rotos resisted the stuns, but then the, like, decreased speed is the one that got him polymorphed. Like, really? I guess it didn't matter because we proc reaction anyway, so the, um, the Ro, the, um, Staltus didn't actually activate the Rotos passive. Um, this guy likes to run Taurus, Tormund, Narcis, Lazorius, Arbias, Necrit, Duchess. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to just steal Narcis. Narcis is going to be good against Duchess no matter what because the Duchess puts up the shields, which means we're going to get the double procs. The, he, he, he's known to use Taurus. Um, and Necrit, who Narcissus will be good against all of this. Don't know if this is a new Wukong or a support Wukong. I'm going to guess it is... Ooh, How do we want to play this one? I don't know if this is a nuke. Okay, it's interesting. I was gonna say, I don't know if this is a nuke Wukong or not. Let's 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, that looks like support, not nuke. Let's see how this goes. We have the, um, oh, that's right. The, uh, the Duchess is locked out. Can block revive the, no. Actually, no, we probably can't. Oh, okay. Yes, we can. That was, no, wait a minute. He still has, um. Still has the. Or he only has two buffs. How do I want to play this? We're going to get Polymorph if we don't take out the Wukong, so I guess we just do that. <laughs> Let's see if I have enough damage to block revive. Yes, thank you. okay, beautiful. Ah, I was really hoping we would uh, not have that happen. This is bad. He's going to polymorph the um, Narcis. Uh, I'm going to save that. Our best hope is the Warlord gets the turn meter pushback right here. Oh, shoot. I was hoping the Warlord would go first. We might be able to tank this. I don't know. <sighs> Kaja resists, maybe. Or doesn't get stunned. Ah, hard enough. Bummer, dude. Yeah, Lazarius is kind of bullshit. <laughs> How did we... I feel like we got behind on the Warlord lockout for the UDK, or for the Wukong. I'm trying to think what I could have done differently. No, fighting 29 again. Okay. I feel like we do that fight like 10 times, and a decent number of the times, like probably the majority of the times, we actually win. I just had bad RNG because of the um, the way the Wukong not only got to go before the Narcis, but also um, had his you know his cooldown perfectly in time to basically revive and then lock out. Although maybe he saved his revive. I don't think so though. I'd have to count the turn exactly. Uh, no, what am I doing? I need to go UDK. I wonder if there's anything I could have done to try it now. Try and get three buffs up on the Wukong.
Perfect, I can queue up when you're in game and try to fight you. What's your uh what's your character or like your player ID, Voltec? Retro Al. Mm. Oh, you like to steal Warlord from me. That last fight would have been a perfect example of a fight that uh, New King Ramantu would have been really good against, though. Instead of Ronda. Or instead of Narcisse. Actually, I don't know why I hit that. I kind of want this Rotos to stay kind of close to dead. Oh, this would be beautiful. We can block revive everyone with the pulley right here. Oh, I don't like how much... Okay, we we knocked... Oh, nice. We knocked off the um, bail. Beautiful. Okay, that's good. Dude, people sleep on how strong the... Yeah, see, we would have failed that if I did knock the bail off. People sleep on how strong the Arbiter buff strip is. Like, it never gets talked about, and yet it's such a, like, cool part of her kit that makes her so much better. Ah, I'm gonna get a kill there. Can Arbor get the kill? Yeah, nice. What? Oh, God. You can reset it. Um, I was like, she just revived. How'd that happen? Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just go for the touches again. I wish the multiple hitters of Quintus would stack would like I wish the passive would activate for every hit. That would be so good. I mean it'd be OP as shit. It would the other day I had what did I fight? It was oh I fought um was it Doc Moreau? I think it was I can't remember who it was actually. It was one of the like top two or three people in the game um and they put up it was like all the buffs from duchess all the buffs from makage and then like sifi or something like that and then i quintus a3 and one shot everyone on their team except for i think it was narcis and taurus which was a total bummer because i almost would have won but then the taurus came back and killed me because i think they took out my one reviver with the makage ally attack but I was still like, holy shit, Quintus just like one shot everyone. It was like a plus four CP, plus four Duchess or whatever. But they had like eight buffs up. So, you know, true hit them for like 80% of their health. Come on, let's get some good fights. Actually, to be fair, I think the first fight was pretty good, even if we lost. Bot fights are better. Boring. Is there a bug with Rotos right now? Mine isn't taking damage, but still gets an extra turn. 
he's not taking any damage at all I, I don't know what that means um i don't know if it's a bug but there is a if you have ward of the fallen on rotos it will his passive will mitigate the damage before ward of the fallen does which means it'll get lowered by 50 percent and then get lowered by another 20 percent um okay this guy runs wukong ragash rotos torment hegemon ronda cp mikage cariel yumiko duchess arbiter sandra uh pff, yeah let's get these guys um and uh, that can still i think proc i think that still counts as proccing his passive so you could see a situation where he takes like 30 percent of his health and then gets an extra turn but i don't think you could see a situation where he takes zero damage and gets an extra turn. okay narcy did it for um i i need to be a little should we go wukong i need to be a little cognizant of the fact that he could pull out a hegemon on me i get to last pick yeah let's do this wukong will be fine he doesn't he can't go before me now because he picked it for us so we don't need necessarily like super fast snoopers Okay, he went with Rodos. Um, it's Ward of the Fallen. Mm -hmm. You can also go Staltus. No, Encore is going to shut down Staltus. Yeah, let's do Rhonda. Uh, who do I want to ban here? Let's do this. My whole team gets one shot by Taurus, but Rotos is still full health and he gets an extra turn. Um, I don't think he should be full health, but I don't know. He proc reaction or something? No, that wouldn't. I, I don't know. That's kind of weird. The hell? I pushed his turn meter all the way back. Is that the bug you're talking about? That's weird. How much polymorph is on this team? Kind of a lot, actually. But I think the... Uh, I think only the... Uh...
Oh, come on. I thought that would be enough. Ah, that's probably game. Hmm, interesting choice. Does Kaja have the strip? She does not. You have the A3. Nope. Well, that sucked. Basically screwed. He's just gonna sleep the Wukong. How are we doing? We done three, four fights already. Did I lose three of them. That sucks. Only one we won was the bot. skip Arbiter. Do I want to go with Wukong? Yeah, I do. I wish I had Vitalis right now. Vitalis would be a real good pick. Ban Rhonda. Thought you were gonna go for Vitalis. Uh, I did. I have him. I just haven't actually. Um, I haven't actually pulled him from the shards yet because I've been waiting for a good champ chase. And like this fusion, I don't need to pull him. So it's gonna take forever. But he would be really good at this, this fight. gonna kind of depend on okay so she was able to strip the rotos but not the wukong oh and she stripped the oh man she stripped three out of the four stone skins that is some bullshit right there I'm not gonna lie that is some serious bullshit right there so boosted 
Um, Back sucks. God damn it, dude. This is so frustrating today. Damn, I really... Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Can I at least proc a polymorph or something? Attack the. Oh, she doesn't have it. Dude, don't you love it how the Seafy always manages to go right before my champion does and then puts it to sleep so I don't get my turn? Like, are you kidding me, man? There's just so much bad RNG there. I don't think it would have mattered. I don't think the A3 on the Rota or on the Wukong would be strong enough. What can you do? I mean, so many ways we could have not lost that fight. Rotos doesn't get stripped by the Arbiter. We don't lose the fight. Um, well, I guess that was the main one. Or, or Warlord doesn't get stripped. We lock out. We don't lose the fight. Like, he basically had to strip. Or even... Even if the uh, even if the Brogni didn't get stripped, we give the increased attack to the Wukong, and then we probably one shot the team. But we didn't have increased attack, so we didn't hit as hard as we needed to. It's like he had to basically triple roll the strip on the Arbiter to pull that off the way he did. And of course, look at that. You know what can you do? It was smart to use the Arbiter A2, though. <coughs> uh, I probably should have opened with the Arbiter pick against that guy. If this guy, this guy has a really, really fast, um, Mikage. Oh, why did I do that? I should have just picked UDK. What was I thinking? Using Rotos, Duchess, Ursuga, and Shield Set, and Wukong, Rotos doesn't even lose the shield for some reason. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff happening there. <sighs> I think we have to ban the Mikage.
What's the blessing on the... Okay. Um, so parry. He locked everyone out. So that's beautiful. She put the veil on the... Oh, that sucks. Wow. I guess we didn't have the increased attack still. That Rotos or that Wukong is a huge problem. But we should have the lockout back. Let's take him out again. say we should have the Ronda A2 which should help everyone's locked out we'll revive the Georgia next turn I was hoping the Ronda would get dragged in Ronda might survive this no oh come on Just eternally unlucky today. Holy shit. She should have one more turn until she can revive okay should be fine all right well at least we won one i guess two because we beat a bot this is our second set we had two and two and four He picks Roto, so I need to pick UDK. I don't know why I didn't do that last time. Oh, I should have grabbed Wukong. Oh, I should have grabbed Wukong to the Kaja. Damn it. That was a mistake. Oh, weird. Okay. Um... What's up, bad monkey? Do we think the Kaja can beat the Mikage? Moment of truth. The cut 
cut in. That was a very interesting choice. I don't know why he did that. Why didn't he ally attack? Well, that's annoying. Oh, yes. Rhonda, you're a god. I love you, Rhonda. Thank you. To be a misclick? Yeah, it seemed... <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing that was a rage quit because of the misclick. He could have made my life really difficult by... killing the Rhonda. Oh my god, I just realized I totally forgot. I was gonna I was gonna um glyph some gear. Do that after this. Uh this guy runs Georgid in Stone Skin. Duchess Marichka C slow C. I wanna open with I wanna open with Georgid. But I don't want to deal with Stone Skin Georgid. Only rage quit. Yeah, I think he um I think he probably Well, I mean yeah kind of a rage quit, but like he's not he can't win. Like I, he kinda lost actually. Because I can just pick on I can just wait for the Ronda A2 to come back and then just walk past the Marichka. And it's not like I'm gonna die to Yumiko. So uh, it would and like the other scenario is the Georgia one shots the Marichka and then with his A3 gets the extra turn and then one shots everyone else except for the Taurus. But my team's not going to die to a Taurus with no buff, like a, a solo Taurus. See if he goes with the Rotos. If he goes with the Rotos, I could still run EDK. <coughs> we'll probably pick CP and Rich over here. Yeah. What's up, Leon Goop? Oh, interesting. Went with the Harima. Love your amazing live arena YouTube videos. Thank you. We're recording one right now. Wonder if the Rock can one shot this Harima. That would be helpful. We did block active skills. I think we just do this. Ah, I forgot about Marichka covering max HP. Be interesting to see what this Arima decides to do. I 
feel like it would take a miracle to win this fight at this point. Oh god. There's pretty much no way, because the Georgia... Oh, he does have his A3. No. Um, yeah, I guess I can't first pick Georgia. I've never seen that player pick Karima before. But that was definitely the right answer. Oh, yeah, upgrades, upgrades. So, well, let me just buy some food. <coughs> P10 is giving you trouble. I can take a look at it real quick. What did I beat P10 already? This one? This is what I did. All damage dealers. That is kind of annoying. No healers or freeze champs. Max HP just gets wrecked. I mean, the only pain, the only healer I had was Painkeeper. Okay. Uh, first things first. Where'd that helmet go? Hold on. Oh, it's a divine speed helmet. That's why. Let's kill the Fire Knight first. Uh, no, I think I actually killed the other one first. I killed it in like one or one and a half turns or something, though. I killed it really fast. Divine speed. Okay. We got to glyph this guy. Fingers crossed it doesn't use all my glyphs. We need... I'll take a plus seven. Six. Okay, plus eight. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, let's drop a glyph. Ooh, and we max roll the HP as well. Uh, I'll put some attack on there. Why not? But this is a one speed upgrade for the Kaja. But you also see, look at this. We're getting another 3,000 HP out of that. Double eights, yeah, that that rolled really nicely. Okay, the other piece is our quad roll. And protection. Hold on real quick. I really want to use to start using this HP banner I have. Only have one glyph. Soul Saint, thank you for the raid. How you doing, dude? Welcome everyone from Soul State Stream. Sorry my alerts aren't working. I keep forgetting to fix that. Just recording our daily live arena video. If you guys don't know Soul Saint, you should go check him out. Oh wait, that not spell your name right is that a zero instead of a all right where's that trip speed oh here it is okay oh beautiful oh we got the plus eight hell yeah Okay, I don't have enough essence to rework this, but I'm gonna try. I wanna get resistance here. Attack. Defense. Still, that's amazing. Double plus eights. That's what we're talking about. 428 speed on. Oh wait, no, we didn't even we didn't even put the piece on yet.
Obviously, we can get two more speed out of this, but oh, it's not even an upgrade. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, it's it's the it doesn't change. Um, but I would lose health. So you know what? We won't. We won't. We're just gonna leave it there for now. <coughs> RNG on your side with that one, yeah. All right, I'm gonna queue up. I want to go roll that uh, that banner to here. It is a zero. All right, let me fix it. Is that right? This does. Oh, shit! Damn. Lots of fails. Oh my god, I failed it. Is that it? <laughs> okay, let's see if that freed up any gear we can move on to Arbor. I think it Uh Lord Zap. Do I have this player in my notes? I'm going to open with Warlord. It's attack banner to Ronda. Ronda already has a triple roll attack with, or triple roll speed with attack. Uh, but I'm sure I can use it on either Ronda or Quintus. Yeah, uh, I need to figure it out. But I, I'll probably won't do that until... Well, maybe I could just straight up swap the banner out. I'll have to look. Um, but I might wait. Actually, dude, now that I think about it, maybe I should make my Quintus. I'm thinking about trying to make my Quintus also like 300 plus speed. Do I want to commit to going second against this guy? I can probably beat him in the speed race, actually. Good pick. I can't pick Rodos right now. I really have to decide if I want to challenge in the speed race or not right now. Fast as your arbiter. Um, she's gonna be 418 when I move the gear over. I can't move the gear right now. Oh, you know what? Actually, I need another glyph. That's right. Okay. Um So we just ban the arbiter and beat this guy in the speed race. I still want to go Rodos. I think I want to go Rodos and we go Rhonda. Is Rhonda a terrible pick? 14, I thought 425-ish. Uh, no, you're thinking of Kaja. Kaja's 428. It'll be 433 with all the glyphs. Um, we can also go Valken in. Screw it, I'm just gonna go Ronda. You just not pick any nuker, or do you only pick one nuker? The fuck? I mean, this is a little annoying because Ron is gonna die, but I don't know what he's thinking. Ronda might not even die. I mean.
It's not as if he has any damage. Cardial Nuker. <laughs> That's true. I mean, Cardial could deal damage, sure. Oh, come on. The Provoke on the Warlord? Really? Could that be any more unlucky? Out the cardial dude we actually gonna lose this fight this is so dumb the cardial brought in his ally attack on the rotos right there holy shit talk about losing a stupid fight i should have just challenged that guy There's no way I was I was way I would have been way faster. If I have um Armand, like what that that was dumb. I didn't think that was because that was super super bad RNG. The last that guy once. I mean here's the thing. Like he not only had to roll the 50-50 shot on the strip of the stone skin, he also had to ro roll the provoke on the warlord. Like, let's not forget that. If he doesn't roll the strip and the provoke on the warlord, he loses. If he doesn't roll the cardial extra ally attack on the or on the Rodos, he loses. He got super lucky. Uh Do I know this 17? I think this is a bot. Yeah, this one runs standard shit. Um, in the chat? Oh, was that you? Lord Zath, you are in the chat. <laughs> Holy shit. Boosted. Oh, are you a streamer too? I was saying holy shit too. <laughs> Uh, we can just beat the guy in the speed race now, I think. Saw Soul Saint in here earlier? Yeah, we just got a raid for Soul Saint. What was it? Arbiter Cardial Lid. How do I want to play this one? Ah, I don't like it. I messed it up. I shouldn't have 
I should have just known it was a bot and picked the UDK. so screwed. Oh my god, we one-shot the Taurus. Oh, Rhonda, I love you. Thank you, Rhonda. We're still, like, in the danger zone. Like, hardcore, because of the um well actually you know what george still has all of his abilities we can do this and then we can do this oh plus four cp and rotos that's right Rhonda says sit down our um this was checking for polymorph our Blessing, the new blessing on Kaja put in some work there because it it decreased the Taurus's max HP 30% when she got revived. Or when he got revived, which is what let Rhonda actually get the kill. That's why I've been so angry. It's been taking me so long to get the blessings to show up in the shop because um the six star war or life harvest blessing is so good on Kaja. It definitely got us that win there. All right, how do we do? We won one, two, three, four. Four out of ten. Could be better. Could be worse. All right, I still... Uh, you know what? Howard, hold on real quick. Before we end the YouTube section, let's see if any of the upgrades... No, hold on. Um, How fast can I make my Arbiter? I need to glyph the protection banner we got on Arbiter. Could make her. Hold on. Fast Nuker is amazing. Can we get. Need divine speed. So make her four hundred and three speed, but she would lose six thousand health. Gain a little bit of defense. Gain a little bit of No, it's five more speed. I mean, it's not nothing. <clears throat> eh, I think I'm just going to wait. All right. Well, that's going to be it for the YouTube video today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. I am going to be out of town for like a week and a half. So there won't be any YouTube uploads. Assuming I can get this one done and actually uploaded for tomorrow. And i will see y'all when I get back. Hopefully I can pick up some souls when we get back, or while we're gone, because I still will log in at least to do as much as I can. I gotta finish the Armand's fusion. But, yeah. See you guys in a couple weeks. Or a week and a half. Cheers.